More to come. Here's a look, though, at what we did get. This is the last 12 hours rain totals. We got about a half an inch of rainfall in Santa Fe, almost three quarters of an inch in Española, over an inch and a half up towards Cuba, up in the mountains near that wildfire, the Diego fire that we do have burning. We got about an inch and a half down near Mountain Air, and as we get you in a little bit closer to the metro area, a lot of Albuquerque just saw trace amounts of rainfall, uh, but we did get some pretty steady pockets of rain down into the south and west. We got an inch, inch and a half, but you can see here as we get closer towards Los Ranchos de Albuquerque, about a quarter of an inch of rainfall came down in the last 12 hours. Now off to our far east, we are still tracking uh, some pretty hefty totals, two, two and a half inches of rainfall there. And then down in parts near Silver City, north of the city, really, we got about a half an inch to an inch and a half of rain. And in some spots, it is still coming down. Very, very light rain, but you can see it starting to shift southward in, the, in a sense, fizzle out. But near Hatch, near Tier C, we do still have some of those light pockets of wet weather. And as we go through the day, our rain chance is going to stick around. But I want to keep you updated on something else we're watching. Our eastern plains got a lot of moisture in the last 24 hours. And now this morning, we're starting to see it develop into a little bit of fog. So keep that in mind. Visibilities are going to be dropped in parts of Las Vegas, Tucumcari, and Clovis. We're just now seeing these numbers get down to about four and five miles. Could get even reduced into the one mile an hour range. I'll keep you updated there uh, for your morning commute. But out the door this afternoon, what to expect? Still getting that moisture lifting northward, and that's going to help with our rain and storm development into the second half of the day. Temperatures will be mild, and again, we'll see the chance for showers and storms, but you'll see a lot of sunshine for the first part of the day, even through lunchtime. Models do want to pick up on the first signs of rain and storms as we get closer towards the one and two o'clock hour. I do think we'll see a lot of that hold off until the five o'clock hour and beyond. So as we take you through your hour by hour timeline, I have boosted that rain chance really for the second half of the day after about five o'clock, but still one to three o'clock about a 10 to 20% chance for some spot showers and storms. But temperature wise out the door now, nice and comfortable 50s and 60s through the day. We are going to stay comfortable. Normal this time of year is to get into the 90s. I think we're going to stay out of the 90s today in the metro area. Again, mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies all the way through noon, even leading up to about 5 o'clock. But we will have some clouds building and some evening storms headed our way with highs today right at around 89 degrees, 85 in Grants and 83 in Santa Fe with some 90s in Tier C and in Deming for today. But the next couple of days, all important holiday weekend headed our direction. A scattered showers and storms are still going to be possible. Great news because we do need the rain may hinder a few locations fireworks, but overall not a widespread washout. Uh, so I wouldn't cancel any of those outdoor plans for Friday or the weekend. Just keep your eyes to the sky as we are going to be seeing some scattered showers and storms over the next couple of days. So southern Colorado, partly cloudy skies, scattered rain and storms possible for the next few days. Meanwhile, temperatures will stay in the mid 80s into the north and west, partly cloudy skies with 80s and 90s. Spot storms possible with the 90s sticking around. As we take you into the south and west, scattered clouds through the late day hours and into our evening with scattered evening showers and storms. We'll also see daytime highs in the 80s and 90s and our rain chance sticks around into the weekend. Into the southeast, partly cloudy skies with the chance for spot showers and storms. 80s and 90s. Tomorrow still a limited chance for storms, but we'll have the drier skies by Saturday and Sunday. Into the north and east today, we are going to see some early morning sunshine. We'll have temperatures in the 70s and 80s with evening clouds and evening storms possible. That again repeats for our Friday, then into the northern mountains, 70s and 80s today with cloud cover on the rise and afternoon evening storms becoming possible. Into the east mountains today, partly cloudy skies, evening showers and storms with highs in the mid and upper 80s and into the metro area, we'll have upper 80s and some low 90s with the chance for evening showers and storms again today. And in the metro area, the rain that we did see was really after 11 o'clock. It was in that time frame 11 to 2 where we got about a tenth of an inch to a quarter of an inch in some locations. Uh, but today, tomorrow again, evening and overnight showers and storms possible. Temperatures gradually warming up. We'll be back in the mid 90s by the end of this weekend and next week. So if we get this much rain, I know it's just a little bit, but say mm -hmm. for the next week, two weeks, is that enough to make a difference in the drought in the situation here? You know what? We are are sitting in such a big drought, we need a lot of rain. If we talk yeah. about just this year, we're two inches below normal from what we should be seeing we're already behind. at this time. Yeah. And two inches is a lot of ground to make up. Yeah, particularly in the desert. But, it, you know, any rain helps. Sure. So.